Good afternoon, everyone. It's a big title to describe this, uh, this presentation. But the idea here is to demonstrate to you what I did in the project called Evoke. I work in the World Bank as external constant. And in this project, I, I develop a lot of gamification features inside the platform. Game, coins, badges, and I also will demonstrate to you some um, proposing that I made to the Moodle Users Association and in a lot of other things. Uh, but everything, almost everything is related to gamification and what I did inside the Moodle especially and without change the Moodle source code. So okay, who am I? Uh, my name is William Mano and I'm a software engineer and computer engineer. Also, I work with Moodle since 2009, a lot of, I think, 14 years ago. So I'm also a certified PHP engineer, it's a Scrum Master, and uh, I like to help with some local communities, like the PHP Maranhão, which is my state in Brazil, and the, uh, the Moodle Multi Brazil and the Moodle Brazil community. And for those who don't know me, I am the developer of the movie theme, so I don't know if anyone here uses the move. So, <laughs> well, at least one. So I created this theme, which is the most used theme, one of the most downloaded plugins, and most used plugins in the Moodle source database, Moodle plugins database. So, yeah, the slide's broken, but my LinkedIn and GitHub page, it's William Mann, so you can talk over there. So, what is Evoke? Evoke is a, uh, basically Evoke is a game built on top of some storytelling. And so we use, uh, the, the designers created the content using this HQ, HQ gra and graphic novels. So all the content is built on top of these de design styles, I guess. And the main idea of the Evoke is uh, Evoke always running inside a a city on an emergent or in a on, a, on a, an emergent country. For instance, now you are running a a campaign on Guatemala, and the idea is to always handle or always try to help the local students to save or to solve a a problem or a local problem like sustainable cities and and green economies and other type of things. So we basically use the graphic novel a style, so all the content is built on top of this. We use the H5P, we use the PDFs, we have to use the pages, we use a lot of different resources to deliver our content to our students. And as I said, and we always try to solve some global um, problem in local communities, in Guatemala, Brazil, and Colombia, and others. And just a quickly uh, step in here, a, a quick note here. Uh, we also started to create some content using AI generation. And I try, I get this one here because it's really a bit fun because uh, we, we asked the, the AI to generate a character with different uh, perspectives. And in the second one, we asked, okay, uh, create the personage, create the character, uh, smiling. So, as we can see, we are not other people when we are happy now. So <laughs> I'd like to that, bring this. We are testing other tools uh, using AI. For instance, we created a portfolio mechanism, a portfolio activity, where users can, like a blog, post the work, and then other students can comment and like it. And we created now, oh my god. And I created now a API that communicates over our alchemy, or it's our, uh, as, it's how we call our, our AI. So the alchemy reads the user posting, reads the context of the posting, and then posts a comment to the user portfolio. So you are starting this, it's a young proof of concept, because we are um, thinking about the users, for instance. Uh, use the AI to comment on posts where users do not interact with yet. So, and I, I, someone posted something and nobody interacted with this user, so we, we use the AI to post a comment maybe to engage this student and not felt, and help, the, help this student not felt alone, of course. So we are using these new tools too. So back into the game mechanics, and 
This is a dashboard that we created. I, I cannot point to one because if it never have two. But and this is a dashboard of the students, and we can see a lot of elements in here. And I will show you more on the on the on the next slides. So first, you, users can choose the avatar. We have the badges here, and badges if. With extra criteria to achieve the badges, we have the skills development or a competencies development, and we have a marketplace because when users finish the activity, they they uh, receive some coins and they can exchange or buy some products uh, with these coins. We have a game level in course um, on a course view. And inside this game level, on the, on the course view, you have this progress of the students on where they are, where they did, and all the activity inside the course. So first, the avatars. Users can choose the avatars in uh, the selected avatars. The next idea is to add some purchased avatars. Some users need to um, buy avatars with the coins, so like premium avatars. And the coins, so uh, I know you, you must be know the block game, the XP game, uh, XP, XP block. And if using this block inside the courses, you can uh, give some points to the students. So I implemented this too. And, and just a quick note, uh, um, I, I also developed the block ranking. And the block ranking was the first plugin in, in, or at least one of, one of the first to implement gamification into Moodle. So I'm just sad because I was not classified as gamification, but I, I created the first gamification block inside the Moodle, or the first gamification block for Moodle. And this is the same idea. And when, when a student receives a uh, complete an activity, then they will receive some coins. And the idea is to work with all types of activities. So a page, a forum, a assignment, any type of activity, we can receive some coins for finish it. The skills development, I created a simplified system to, um, to have the competences or the skills development or skill competence development because I, I don't know if you have the same feeling, but I never understood how the Moodle competencies work. I felt it is more, too much complicated. So I created a really simple one. You just need to create the skill, like we have here the vision, curiosity, imagination, investigation, etc. And then when the students complete the activity, you can uh, assign some uh, uh, skills points for this completion. For instance, if a student complete a four-hour activity, then they will receive five points of collaboration skill. If the student has uh, complete a page, they will receive um, two points of reading skill and things like that. You can create a lot of uh, um, scenarios in here. And uh, as I can see here, uh, this is a special page for the portfolio activity that I created because the students here in, in this activity specifically, they can receive skill points by submit something, by when someone comment the, the assignments, when someone like the, 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 the entries, or when they are evaluated. So for instance, in this case, the users will receive three points of vision and five points of curiosity when they receive a grade for this activity. So yeah, we can have a mix of behaviors here. And the, the coolest part here, it's about the Moodle badges. And currently you have Moodle, and inside the Moodle you have two types of badges, the course badges and the site badges. Both of them have uh, defined criteria, and we cannot have additional criteria for the badge. So if you want to add, uh, if you want to give a student a badge, you only can do it by manually, and you can do it when the student completes a course, when they receive some other badges, when they complete study activity, or when, when they achieve a, a competence. So we only have this one. If you want to add a, give a student a badge when they access the course for 10 days, you can't. If you want to add a, a, give a badge for students when they receive 100 coins, you can't. So Moodle has this brilliant module uh, architecture, and we have similar behaviors, for instance, inside the, the, the activity 
Activity evalu é, Availability. So you have the Moodle core Activity Availability, but you have the Community Availability. Like uh, uh, students can access this activity when they receive 10 coins inside the, the block game. So you can have it, but you can't this inside the Moodle badges. So I proposed this, uh, this approach in here. So let's imagine uh, we have the badge one, badge A, and the criteria is we need, the student need to access the course by five days. So if the student access the course for five days, they will receive this badge. The badge B, the students need to have five points. So if they are uh, complete the activity, they will receive a badge. And the idea is to have a mix of criteria inside the same badge. For instance, and currently we have uh, to achieve a badge, we only can um, assign a single active badge criteria, so manually. So uh, this badge can be only assigned manually. And the idea here is to have to mix these criteria to have mixed badges. For instance, the badge C. To receive this badge, the user need to access the course by 10 days and obtain 100 coins or 100 points. And the D. We need, a student need to have 400 points, achieve the level five, or complete activity X, which is one uh, classic model behavior. So I proposed this inside the model. Uh, it's on this tracker here. I also proposed this inside the model users association, but unfortunately uh, it, it doesn't receive the amount of votes. But yeah, it's a project there. All the description is there. I have a local plugin. Maybe we can um, deliver this to the community as soon. But yeah, the idea is to, to have this badge, not just for us, but distribute this for the community and have this more robust system to everyone to create their own game mechanics, right? And I think I can't see here, but when we click on the eye icon here, users can see the the, the the description of this criteria, for instance, when they click on the, the eye icon here on the first on the first badge, they will can see that. And to access to receive this badge, you need to complete need to access the course by five days. So the users have the feedback of what they need to do to achieve the badge. So um, currently inside the module, students are blind about what they need to do to receive the badge. And this is more clear for the students. And all objectives here is to engage the students. Okay, I need to access the course by five days, I access it for, I will access it tomorrow just to receive this badge. So this is the idea. I always try to motivate the students. And thinking about the, this type of motivation, we also created the marketplace because we have the coins, but okay, what I need, what I will do with these coins? I will just appear on a, on, a, on a scoreboard, but what else? So we also created a marketplace where teachers can create some, some products and currently we have two types of projects. And the digital products like a book or ebook, a, a, a auxiliar uh, content, or physical products like a bag, a, note, a notebook, or something else. Because uh, um, Evoke has some in-person uh, events, in-person moments, like a hackathon or a, a, a meeting with the, the mentors. So they use it, these, these moments to deliver the products to the students. So this is not, um, um, the, we do not send the, 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 the products to the student's house, so the students purchase the items inside the items inside the, the marketplace, and then they will receive the items inside in, during this in person moment, right? So we created the holy or hill, I guess, the, 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 all the, 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 the content or, or the, we, we try to implement at least uh, uh, as much as we can all of gamification elements trying to engage the students. So we have the coins, we have skill development, we have some badges, uh, segments, or uh, as you can see, uh, some small achievements. And we have the marketplace to exchange these badges 
with some uh, exchange these coins, I'm sorry, with some products that I want. And the idea is to create more and more digital assets like the, the, the badge or the, the avatar. So if you want to unlock an avatar, so purchase it with some coins and things like that. And, and yeah, and this is it. In the last part, it's our last version of our platform. This is a course page. And inside this course page, we can see some sections. And every dot, every uh, point of this is a section. And inside the section, you can have, uh, we can configure a section to be a icon with a background. So we can choose the icon and the background color. Or we can upload an image that represents this section. And you can also have subsections like uh, this Explora to Comunidad e Formula to Idea. So these two are subsections of session uno. So we also, as you can see, you, can, you have the section completion, progress or sexual progress. We, for instance, in the Explora to Comunidad, in this, student, in this student here completed 50% or a half percent. So we have this progress inside the course. So the students have the meaning of where they are, where they, what they need to do. And inside, I have another cool feature here. It is, imagine that a section have 10 activities, but the students uh, access it less, the, the, the third activity less time. So when they click to in, in the section again, they will back to the less activity they access it. So they will back to the third activity. They don't need to go in looking for where they are. They always will be back from where they stop the to learn and keep, and keep learning, right? So yeah, this is our course page. And we also have this eye icon in there and showing how many activities this section have and how many completed it is. So yeah, this is the course page. And at the right side, you have the, the, the user avatar. In my case, I didn't choose an avatar yet, so it loads my user profile uh, image. Uh, we have the coins, so I don't have any coins, but the coins are displayed in there. I have the My Progress link, and the My Progress link, it's a link for this page here, so I can see all my, my, all my progress with the, the badges available in this course, how, uh, what is my progress up to achieve this badge, what are the criteria of each badge. I can see my skills, in this case translated to Ms. Abilidades, and how many skill points I already have inside this course, or I already achieved. So this is the marketplace link. And we also have a scoreboard. So we split the scoreboard in three, in three parts, the week, month, and general, always trying to engage in the student. So imagine, a student is only one, one week without access to the platform, so they did one activity and then received 10 points and appears on the top of the week one. So the students, oh, whoa, and I am on top of the week. I will keep working because I want to be the top of the month and maybe the top of the global. I'm telling this because it already happened to me, with me in, in my previous work on the university, the State University of Marion. Uh, a student that never accessed the course, accessed them, and when they access, they see, oh, there is a scoreboard here, let me see it. So they student finish two activities and say, oh my god, this is awesome. And keep working, keep working, keep studying. And then this, is this, this is student um, completed the month in the top one of the month and the top one of the global check, you know, in the global uh, scoreboard. So uh, this is a classic case of a student that uh, with risk of dropout, but when they see the, the, the scoreboard, the scoreboard engaged in here, and then she completed all activities in, uh, until you get the top one of the, the, all the, all the all the scoreboards. So the idea here is to engage the students. The students who are in the top of the week maybe keep working to be on the top of the month and maybe in the top of the general and um, the general scoreboard, right? And for this you have the badges. Uh, it's quite similar to the badges uh, block we have in Moodle. The difference is because we have we show all blocks, all badges here, and if you achieve the badge, they will not be 
uh, dim it or with the gray, uh, with this gray color, the badge will be colored because the, you achieved the block or the, the, the badge, right? And the last part is everything is built with custom plugins. So uh, as you can see, we have here a really customized Moodle course. So it's different of almost everything you have ever seen in there. And to do this, we didn't need to change the Moodle source code. We don't need to change the Moodle car. So we have a, a, a upgrading, we have a upgrading life easier. So we can keep going with our Moodle, keep upgrading it because uh, we have sure that we will not broke our Moodle. It's all custom plugins. So I developed a theme. So the movie theme is on there. I developed some local plugins for marketplace to these game mechanics with the skill points, with the badge systems. I created the blocks to show uh, on the right side here, the blocks to show the scoreboard, the badge, and etc. I created the, an activity. I did not show you the activity, the portfolio, but it's an activity that I developed for them. And basically, students will tell the history to, to, to everyone. So they can post some new entries and then everyone can comment, like, interact with the, the portfolios. I created a course format. So this is on the middle or on the left side is a course format. We have awesome course formats like um, the tiles, the, 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 the block of the, the Jota, I forget the name. The, Oh my God, I forget. But we have awesome form course format, and this is another one. So we have a course format. And of course, and the most important part for us administ as administrators or, or, or teachers is the report. So we have some reports of how are my students? Are my students developing their skills? The students are uh, completing the activities, Moodle has it, but they are achieving their skills, they are achieving the badges. So we have all type of all these types of reports to know if the activities are okay, if the students are learning or studying. All right? So this is all I want to show you and thank you. <laughs> Questions? Everyone full of food? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Then. So I, I have a question. Uh, well, as you know, I am uh, the head of mobile solutions at, at Moodle Live. Uh, we are developing the Mo Moodle mobile application. And my question is, do you have plans to support all this development in the mobile app? Uh, app? Yeah, I don't know how the mobile app works with local plugins, because some of these are locals. And but for blocks, I, uh, now we have the progress that mobile app is showing the blocks, uh, so it will work, of course. And I did not present it to you here, but the portfolio is a module application, and that is not the, uh, it's too much focused to the bank. I don't know if they have this um, idea to share with the community, but if so, you can, of course, uh, create this, the, the mobile support to the to to the app, but about the local plugin, <laughs> I don't know if it's possible to have everything, because as they work inside the Moodle site, everything the music, the students do will add the points, will add the skills, will add everything. But I don't know how to show it. For instance, the 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 the, the users, the user, oh my god, the user progress inside the mobile app, because I don't know if the so local plugin can show. The some developers, um, myself, we are in the basement. You know that there is like the Moodle shop and Moodle standard. So you can find us and we okay. can guide you through oh, the basics you. of the process if you want. Thank you, thank you very much. I am a close friend of Madi, so I can, I, of course, I will ask him when I'm back to Brazil. <laughs> Anyone else? Nope. Okay, thank you very much. Bye, see you.